I have a simple job planned for this evening. Download another stealth game, get the blackjack ready, Actually, and... you won't be doing that. What? It's not Thief. This isn't Thief. Well, then, what is it? It's called Gloomwood. Gloomwood? Isn't that some kind of fetish? Thief with guns, so the catchphrase goes. But the tagline understates the seminal Thief franchise and New Blood's upcoming homage to the series. Gloomwood is the love child of indie developer Dylan Rogers. The demo dropped last year, a glittering, malformed diamond among a sea of zirconiums. I promised myself that I would wait until its full release to play the game, but Dylan's constant social media updates and gameplay videos enticed me in to steal a glance, to sneak a peek at what the sneaksy manfuls of New Blood have been up to. Brace yourselves. It's time to begin. You wake alone, unarmed, surrounded by stone walls, red lights and mystery. You arise from a metal tomb to the steady clack of industrial machinery. A brief tutorial introduces movement, stealth, item usage and weapons. Then you're let loose into the world. There are no listed objectives, so it's up to you, curiosity and the allure of a strange Victorian-esque city to uncover what's happening. Those who enjoy poking around in darkened corners of a strange gothic world would be in their element here, as mystery shapes the drive to explore. Gates bar access, partially hidden areas tease undiscovered rooms and passageways, and loot and item pickups are sprinkled carefully throughout. Handwritten notes deepen the ominous narrative of a city on the precipice of catastrophe. The protagonist, simply known as The Doctor, has the look of a refined gentleman. The cloak and top hat are strangely reminiscent of Jack the Ripper, and I don't know if this is by design or whether I'm reading too much into the art. Nothing is known about the Doctor, and the box art makes me wonder what dark secrets the protagonist harbours. I appreciate that this is an early model of the game, and that the end result will be different, but the restraint and mystery is fantastic stuff. The Doctor arms himself with a gentleman's cane sword, an elegant weapon for a more civilised age, a revolver pistol, and a break open shotgun. The arsenal is small, but adequate, and weapons do a nice job at conveying the intention of core gameplay. Ammo is limited, and going loud feels like a considered choice with consequences which could easily spiral out of control. The cane sword is Gloomwood's reliable mainstay, the yin to Thief's Blackjack Yang. Quick swipes are effective at destroying wooden boards and objects, and the ponderous stab is great at slaying the dark watchers who patrol the city. In Thief tradition, stealth is the preferred mode of engaging the world. Environments are awash with pools of light which the good doctor is encouraged to avoid. The wraith-like watchers are on the lookout for someone, and the doctor invokes their ire like an angry twitter mob to an errant comment. Watchers guard key locations, and you might mistake them for the city watch unless you look a little closer. Disillusioned lumberjacks perhaps? Many districts are locked off, but switches, keys and hidden routes open access to a surprisingly broad area. Careful exploration reveals depth and connectivity to the various regions of Gloomwood, even in this early demo. The Doctor is inevitably drawn to the bowels of the city where ominous growls and stifling darkness await, and it's here that the horror aspect surfaces. Even the Watchers fear coming down here, and there's a clear escalation of survival in the claustrophobic passages. The Gloomwood demo ends once you recover two tokens and gain entrance to an opulent house locked behind a strange barrier. There's little hiding the depth of Dylan's love for the Thief franchise. As a long-time taffer, Gloomwood felt familiar to me in almost every detail. The high stone buildings and tight streets, warm light pouring from windows, the noisy cobblestone streets, the playful undulation of footpaths which meander through the city, the mantling mechanic and the way you lock to a surface, then climb straight up. Industrial devices which chug and buzz and clack in mechanical automation. Even the steady clip-clop of the doctor's footsteps as he travels the streets. Gloomwood frequently bled into my memories of Thief, and the experience became a delightful nostalgia trip. Without the cane in hand, I was Garrett again, plying my clandestine trade and staving off the landlord for another week. Even the secret switches, hidden around the city, are familiar in design and placement. The music takes a subdued but highly textured cue from the Thief series, complementing not only tense gameplay, but a city fraught with danger. 
I'm fairly certain there was only a single track, but I barely noticed, riding the dire waves of its brackish waters. Dylan cites other titles as inspiration. System Shock 2, Bloodborne, and the Resident Evil franchise all stamped their mark on Gloomwood in one way or the other. Dylan likes to emphasize that Thief was an inspiration, but that Gloomwood sets its own course. And I think this is abundantly clear and appreciated when you play the game. Gloomwood is designed to feel familiar, but it stands proud on its own legs. Discovering what Gloomwood has to offer is a delight. Secrets, items, notes, and collectibles have a familiar thief-like rhythm and logic to their placement, and I had far too much fun hunting every location, coin, and craftily hidden area. Scrawled notes offer tantalizing hints at what has befallen the city of Gloomwood. Not much is said though, but that's a fair concession to an early work in progress. The mystery is welcome and befits the theme. I hope they stick with it for the final release. The emergent gameplay owes a nod to Dylan's numerous inspirations, and it'll be interesting to see how much of this knowledge New Blood employ in their first stealth game. Gloomwood showcases a little of what it knows. Crates and kegs can be carried in place to reach high spots. The doctor can lean into doors to hear what's on the other side. Secret tunnels and access points are gleeful findings for the sharp-eyed opportunist. Gloomwood is a survival horror title according to the descriptions on GOG and Steam, but only a little of this is on display in the demo, so we'll have to wait for judgement on how closely New Blood are able to stick to this formula. Guns are obviously the biggest break from the Thief formula, but ammo is scarce, often scavenged as standalone rounds, which reinforces the stealth element and encourages silent and creative problem solving. Gloomwood is a harbour city. Gulls cry in the distance, and the gentle lap of the ocean is heard in some locations. The central hub invites the intrepid doctor to plumb the mysteries of the jailhouse, warehouses, fishery, and sewers. Many areas are accessible, and all harbour their own secrets. It'll be interesting to see if New Blood retain an open city, or whether they'll break it into loadable chunks. The thought of an open city is enticing. But if I had to compromise a smaller world to achieve it, I'd opt for a load screen and bigger play area any day of the week. More time spent in this world can only be a positive. The Lunar Cycle theme pops up in a couple of spots. The difficulty menu and visibility orb are designed to represent moon phases, and I find it hard to believe that that's all there is to it. I wouldn't be surprised if this concept wiggles its way into the plot and gameplay. How it will work is anyone's guess. Saves are restricted to the phonographs, sparsely placed throughout the world. This forces serious consideration about pushing into new areas. I like this style of save system. It minimizes save scumming and heightens the atmosphere of danger. I can see this getting a bit rough if save locations are improperly balanced, but it feels good enough in the demo, so I'm confident the team have this in hand. New Blood have been hard at work since the demo's release, adding gameplay mechanisms, items, enemies and areas, and tightening all of the systems. To date, the new features include Updated physics, a visibility ring which functions like the light gem in Thief, destructible lights, new weapon animations, reusable shell casings, improved fireplaces, moths around lights, explosive barrels, bear traps, new areas, weather effects, jibbing enemies, chests, updated textures, new props, ammo scavenging from weapons, pickpocketing, improved enemy AI, power generators which can cut power to an area or building, interactive safes, breakable doors, medical crates, and a silenced pistol with different ammo types. Just a few updates. Dylan's YouTube channel is packed with demonstrations of these features. Link is in the description. He also posts updates on Twitter, so don't be shy to show your support. Good indie devs deserve encouragement from the gaming community. Are you excited yet? Did I mention that David Zemansky, the evil genius behind New Blood's breakout hit, Dusk, is also assisting in the development of Gloomwood? If you don't know why that should excite you, check out my Dusk analysis. David is responsible for some truly gorgeous architecture and creative spaces. Link is in the description for the Dusk analysis. I have a niggling worry that the survival horror aspect may drop away for the gleefully destructive systems being implemented, but I have faith in the duo working on Gloomwood to trust that things will pan out. The Gloomwood demo is a prototype. Textures are simple, environments are empty of flourish and detail, AI is basic, and systems are functional. 
It's a proof of concept model, but hot damn am I digging the concept. Dylan is an understudy of the looking glass formula, even going to the lengths of reading old looking glass documents to piece together how they created gaming magic. If you enjoyed any of the looking glass games, you know why this is exciting. Dylan nails the beat set by the ambitious visionary studio, and he's backed by New Blood, who love us and hate money, TM. It's easy to see what Gloomwood is shooting for, and that vision is a cool beating stein of beer after a long stretch in scouring, scorching desert winds. Look, if you love Thief, play Gloomwood. If you love immersive sims, play Gloomwood. If you love survival horror, play Gloomwood. The demo is free, you can't go wrong. It's from New Blood, and they have damn good taste when selecting their projects. If you enjoy this content, show the channel some love and fan the up thumb like a six shooter. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying the videos, and get active in the comments. I'm also on Twitter, look me up for the latest channel updates. Link in the description. Are you excited for Gloomwood? Have you played the Thief series? Do you love the immersive sim like it loves you? Oh, one last thing. A Gloomwood fan posted mock box art of Gloomwood, styled after the trapezoid Thief boxes. Dave Oshry, New Blood CEO and meme overlord, teased that they might consider releasing a print of these boxes. Now, Dave, if you're listening, take my money and give me box!